How many of you think while you've been sitting here today at Genius, this Genius Network meeting, that your company is taking in money from a first time customer? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Anyone who's not? One? Okay. It's have you taken in money from a first time customer? Okay, hopefully. I'll get a first time customer reserving one of the few seats we have left for our annual event, which is just four weeks away. And when I do get those new Genius Network clients, the question is what am I going to do that's special for them so that they get maximum value as quickly as possible from our organization? Of course, everyone in this room at some time this month will be getting at least one new first time customer. The question is what will their experience be like? As you know, First impressions are lasting impressions. On a typical day, Noah Katz's company gets dozens and dozens of new customers in their stores. Each one of them gives him money for the first time. Noah is obsessed with what their experience is like and how he, him, he and his team of almost 1,000 team members can make it even better. Keep in mind, Noah gets well over 50 new customers every day, seven days a week, over 365 days a year. That's about 18,000 new customers every year. Noah and his brother Dan and his father Sydney own a dozen supermarkets in the New York metropolitan area called Food Town and Fresh Town. How many of you are familiar with their stores? Okay, awesome. When Noah and I first talked about this subject, I was excited about him giving a 10 minute talk and sharing with you the process he's created for his first time shoppers in his stores, which I believe is probably the most unique in the world for that industry. Even though nobody in this room owns a supermarket like he does, the concepts he uses are applicable to everybody's business. I've been so looking forward to Noah finally giving this 10 minute talk. So the title is Your New Customer Experience. Please help me welcome Noah Katz. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Yep. Thank you, everybody. Good afternoon. Um, so first of all, um, Sean, great presentation that we just had. This is going to dovetail beautifully about the customer experience. A couple of quick stipulations. We all know everybody in this room, we have our customers you know, sorted into different groups. We have our top shoppers, our best customers. Most of our sales come from our best customers. 80% uh, rule, 80% of your sales are coming from 20% of the customers. Like Vegas, think Vegas, the casinos, your best customers. And you, know, you want to go after your best customers. But before you can talk about your best customers, we got to talk about the new customers. So we have the new shopper experience. And this is, of course, I'm from New York, so I talk a little fast. So you're going to try and keep up with me, okay, everybody? Okay. So we're going to talk today about the new shopper experience, something that we created at, in our supermarkets, Food Town and Fresh Town. Okay, and we're going to take a fresh look at our new shopper experience, and hopefully that'll have some impact on you uh, and what you can do in your business. We're going to uh, redefine the new shopper experience, and um, we're also going to plan out to do an even better job with taking care of new shoppers in our stores. And then as I'm saying this, think about, hey, what can I do for the new people, the new customers that are coming into my business every day, every week, every month? Okay. And by the way, you can drop your pen, everybody. There will be a great handout uh, at the end. You don't have to take any notes. we got a terrific handout for you. Okay. We all know this, right? You only get one chance to make a first impression every single time a customer comes into your business. Okay. It's really, really true. We all know this. Okay. And um, we got to do the best possible job we can in that moment when that new customer comes into our business because we all of us, we all have a tremendous amount of value that we can offer those customers, right? But they don't know anything about the value that you offer. And you've got to figure out a way to explain all that value to your customers. That's what we're going to talk about. So let's start with Blockbuster. Sean talked about Blockbuster in his presentation just now. So they're all out of business already. This story is actually from 19, 1999. This is when this first happened to me. Blockbuster opened up down the street from where I lived. And I walked in. I wanted to get a movie, you know, watch a movie one night. I walk into Blockbuster. And who's in Blockbuster? It was a grand opening of a Blockbuster, by the way. Okay, brand new store, fancy. You know, the suits were there. There were a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, pizzazz. I walk into the store. And this young man behind the counter, okay, and a young man just like the young people that we hire in our supermarkets, right, coming from the same, you know, basically the same, um, the same type of person that might have been working in one of my stores. All right, a young man behind the counter says, thank you for coming in. I said, yeah, I'd like to sign up. I signed the little application. I put my name, Noah Katz, my address. You know, they need a little information, and your credit card number on file. He looks down at the application, and he says, thank you for coming in, Mr. Katz. 
I said, oh, thank you for coming to Blockbuster. Thank you for coming in, Mr. Katz. And let, may I take a few minutes? And can I please explain exactly how it's going to work at Blockbuster? Here's the new releases. You got to bring those back in one day. Here's the romantic comedies. Here's the westerns. Here's this. Here's that. He gave me the lay of the land in about 30 seconds. And he did a terrific job. Okay? Here's the popcorn. You want to buy some popcorn. And I actually stopped and I thanked him. I said, you did a terrific job. Well done. And I said to myself, in 1999, I wonder if we're doing the same job at Food Town and Fresh Town when somebody signs up for our club card program. I think we have a little opportunity. And that's when we crafted our new shopper experience. And what we did is we really, thank you as well to Dan Sullivan at The Strategic Coach, we built an entire little mini process about everything that's supposed to happen when a new customer enters our business. And we explain it in the stores. And I have to thank my team at Food Town and Fresh Town because they do a terrific job delivering that new shopper experience. And we have all these things that we go over with them in the store. We show off a little. We've got about 30 seconds and we want to make sure we explain all the things that we want to explain to these customers on their first visit. And that makes sense, right? We have signs up and there's things that we go through. That's, that's what this basically is. Okay, little supermarket statistic for you. Not sure what it is in your business, but I'll tell you what it is in mine. 50% of all the people that come into our store for the first time don't come back for a second visit. Scary. We try to move that number to 40%. If you move that number, every little bit you move that number is how many more customers stay with you and maybe some of those new customers can turn into potential top shoppers, as we call them, your best customers, right? So what's your biggest goal? Your biggest goal is to turn your new customers into repeat top shoppers. We have a guy named Brian Wolf. In our, Brian Wolf, in our industry, he's the grandfather of customer-specific marketing, loyalty marketing. He has this thing called the bathtub theory. Your business is like a bathtub. The water is pouring in the shower, right? And those are the new customers coming in all the time, and then the, wa the water is draining out. And you're losing customers all the time. And the trick is to make sure you're doing whatever you can when those new customers are coming into the store to hold on to them, right? So the water level goes up nice and high, right? So we've all heard some of these concepts before. Dan Sullivan does the front stage audit where we can analyze our front stage and make sure everything's working properly. That's nothing new. Of course, Joe and, and Dean have been talking about this for years. They call it the before unit, right? What happens before the customer actually interacts with you, right? So not a lot of new concepts here, but just it's always important once in a while, take a half a step back, take a fresh look at these things at your new shopper experience, right? So let's say you own a marketing agency, right? And Customers are coming into your, into your world and, and somebody uh, signed up a new customer. What are you doing to really make sure all the value that you create in your marketing agency lands on them within a very short period of time? Okay, let's say you have a health and wellness company. You know, what's your new shopper email sequence? You have to think about these things very, very carefully. So let me tell you about our new shopper experience in the supermarket. Okay, and as I'm telling you about our new shopper experience, when somebody comes into the store for the very first time, think about your business and how you can apply this. Somebody walks into the supermarket for the very first time, how you doing? How do you even know they're a new customer? How do you even know? You ask them. They come up, they sign up for the club card. Is this your first time here? And if they say yes, you've got about 30 seconds to lay it on thick. And here's what we do, and I'm going to run through it real fast. We tell them about all the great things that we have in our store. We have demo stations. We have collateral material that we hand them. We talk about our points program. Your points are going to add up fast. Your points are always going to be on your register receipt. You can redeem your points for free and discounted groceries. If you can't find something, we'll order it for you. We keep track of all that stuff. We do great catering. You're going to save a lot of money as you shop throughout our store. The uh, prices are terrific. By the way, just fill out the Citadel application. We'll get you all signed up. When they fill out that application, and I know I'm moving fast, we send them thank you cards. Thank you for uh, signing up into our club card program, especially if they spent $100 on that first time. Then we start hitting them with all this digital marketing that we all know and love in this room. We hit them with coupons that you can't believe. 99 cents for milk, 49 cents for bread, half price on your steaks, half price on your chickens. Give them a free dozen eggs. We literally hit them with bargains so they come back. And we deliver it in a way that's exciting and fun. We train the staff. That's the book we were talking about this morning with Joe. Remember Pine and Gilmore? Got to turn it into theater. We put it on posters in the break rooms so everybody's aware of what we want to deliver as part of that new shopper experience. And then, of course, there's all the emails that follow up, all the things that we know what we do. So there's a lot of very, very precise process things that happen with our new customers in the supermarket. But the question is, 
for us here in this room, how can we position that, take it away, you can maybe refine your new shopper experience for every last person that stumbles upon your business, right? And that's, you know, in a supermarket when we sign them up for the club card, what are we doing to hold on to them? Now we switch gears. What can you offer your new customers that are trying your business for the very first time? And this is where the big money comes in. Because when you can change those numbers and hold on to more of those potential top shoppers, you know, um, it has an incredible impact on the lifetime value of the company. Okay, so what about other businesses? The Genius Network. Someone <laughs> signs up for the Genius Network. We've got the board down on the stairwell for the new people that were here today. We all walked by it this morning when we came up. And is there anything else the Genius Network can do to really give some razzle-dazzle to the new customers in the Genius Network? Let's say you have a financial planning company, right? What is your new shopper experience to make sure everybody understands exactly what you do? Let's say you're a dentist, okay, and somebody comes into the practice. You can still give them a great new, new shopper experience. I want to tell you everything we're going to accomplish with your teeth, right? Okay? <laughs> We have a lot of services, all of us. We have a lot of services. We have a lot of value. We want to do great things for all the people that are our customers. We've all talked about that so many times, but we've got to make sure we explain that very early on in, in the relationship. How fast are you ramping up the new customers? So here's the plan of action, everybody. This will be on the handout. Make it real simple, a little self-assessment. Don't, don't forget to look at page two of the handout. How well is your new shopper experience documented? Dan Sullivan 101, get it on one sheet of paper, like we put it in the break room. What are your new shopper retention rates? Are you measuring it, right? You gotta measure it. How well are you delivering your new shopper experience? It's theater, okay? How often are you delivering your new shopper experience? And what are your new shopper retention rates compared to last year? I had an employee in my stores. I call up the stores at night, I ask for the figures. One of the young ladies on the phone, it's 8 o'clock at night, I said, how's it going tonight? She says, I must have given the new shopper experience 30 times today. She gets it. You know what I'm saying, everybody? So I just want to say thank you very much. And, oh, excuse me for one second. I've got a new customer. I've got to run. Yeah.